So I think at this point, whomever of you who is Hispanic have ever watched a soap opera, a telenovela. And this was pretty common, especially in the 90s, where they were really popular. You know, we had a different society. Television was the most, you know, important thing for family. And soap operas, of course, were immersed in it. However, you know, once you grow up and you start looking back, you realize that many or all of them basically were very harmful for your mental health. And why is that? Because there were many things that you were seeing as a distortion of the reality where you basically saw as an example that love was painful. You couldn't see that two lead characters like being happy because they were in love. They were always some obstacles. They weren't just people, you know, avoiding this relationship just to take place. And at the end, like after a hundred episodes, then you see that they were finally happy after all of these inconvenient situations. So, you know, I will let you to stay in the video for you just to see why, you know, these soap operas are very bad for your mental health and why, you know, people choose or many of us adults unconsciously believe that love is painful. You know, soap operas, to me, in my opinion, has some kind of influence on it. So I just would like you to stay in the video. Okay, so I'm gonna play it here so you can see this scene. Sabía que eras ignorante y salvaje, pero no hasta ese extremo. Esa es una ladrona de marido. ¡Cállate ya! Pues si te gustaría, ¿para qué te casaste conmigo, eh? Okay, so I'm just going to read here a piece of an uh, article that I got from the South China Morning Post and says, uh, Soaps try to entertain you and keep you hooked. Scriptwriters will use anything to entice viewers into watching their shows. Hence, they're not going to be caring about mental health, which is right, which is wrong. They're just going to care about getting ratings and what's more interesting for people. But when you see this, is amazing how people were just placing or watching this um, on a time that kids were able to see it and this is completely wrong in so many ways because we're just seeing uh, a scene where there is violence in here and it is not only verbal but physical abuse and this is something that was very normalized back then and I think, um, because I haven't watched more of Openers but I think that perhaps um, they have changed a little bit of the way the characters relate to each other, but there is something always that is there that is completely unhealthy. But that's the part of the, of the soap opera per se. They always show that a love is difficult, and you never see that the, you know, like I was saying, that the lead characters are happy since the beginning. They're always having some issues, and they have this communication where uh, it's always difficult, it's very explosive, and they make us believe, uh, for the people that used to watch the soap opera, that this is love, that this is passion, and this is the way that you interact with the other person by showing that, that you just, you're just crazy from each other. And in a way, this just perpetuates a behavior that is completely unhealthy. And that's why it is very important for you just to have a lot of mental balance before you go into a relationship because when you are emotionally healthy then you're not going to be allowing behaviors that is going to lead you to have this type of relationship that it's going to be reflected in an argument like that in that scene so let's see this other situation here i'm going to explain because i just tried to summarize in here it says this is seen, it's another situation that is also very common in the soap operas that is the classism, where you see the rich people feel entitled to treat the poor people in a very cruel way. And here in this scene, there is a lot of humiliation. You know, there's no need to understand what she's saying per se, but it's what she's doing, you know? And this is very unsettled uh, because of the way that um, she, I'm going to explain the scene, 
she's just saying to the girl that is uh, there on her knees that she's gonna give uh, a bracelet that belongs to the main character, that is the guy that she loves. And she said that the chain uh, or the bracelet belongs to his mom. But she's gonna be able to get it only if she picks that up from the stand with her mouth. And then you see the type of humiliation that this girl goes in the soap opera. So I just want you just to check the scene per se. So, you know, this is the type of things that people who make the script uh, feel that are more, you know, I think, uh, interesting for their for the viewers. But they're not thinking about the consequences of people just having to watch this type of scene, which is pretty sad. So I'm gonna read this uh, part in here that says, Often these shows portray a sense of distorted reality and things that happen on TV is so rarely occurs in everyday life. And this gives Jonster a wrong picture of the outside world. Although we understand that these dramas aren't real and they leave a negative impressions on the viewers and especially in teenagers. This is completely right. So watch a soap opera is also every time consuming. And diehard fans won't be able to do anything else after sitting through, for example, three hours just to watch this soap opera. So that won't allow you to also do these activities that are variable, uh, very uh, productive during the day because you're just going to spend hours watching these uh, scenes. They are not going to give you something beneficial for the way um, you're going to relate to others. You're not going to learn anything from it. So that's why, in my opinion, watching soap opera it's a waste of time so i just hope you like the video if you just want to leave a comment about what do you think about soap operas or which scene was uh, very memorable for you for the way that impacted you i just wanted to leave a comment below and i hope you just like the video but the most important thing that it was very useful for you and see you the next week bye bye